All right, hello, Gemini's. Welcome to your reading. All right, so today I'm going to get started with the Energy Oracle cards, and then I'm going to go into the secrets of tarot deck that I have. So let's get started and see what messages God has for you. All right. First off, I see the third chakra, Archangel Chamaya, which is the communication. We have the hostilities. So this might be some type of argument. I'm hearing like an argument brewing, or this could have been an argument that you had recently with somebody. Yeah, with the world card. I feel like this is the end to that type of like energy around you. Alright. So what messages do you have for the Gemini's? Ooh, nice. That's the other ones. Mm -hmm. A couple more. Whoa, we got a few different cards. Alright, so first off, we have the door to value. I'm hearing, so your money is going to be improving. You're going to have a lot of improvements that are going to come in for you guys. Let me fix my humor. Alright. Under that, we have the contract. So yeah, some of you, this could be because of a work situation. This could be because you're changing something. Um, I'm hearing like, Ooh. For some of you guys, I'm hearing like you're changing your health habits, something like that, or needing to. Now, look at this. We have a storm warning and indecision. I'm hearing for this one, it's like needing to work on your health. The indecision here, it might be due to like different opportunities that are coming in um, and not really knowing which one to go for. We have the Seventh Chakra, Archangel Uriel. Um, with the seventh chakra, that's like your base chakra, right? So with that, I feel like you just need to really ground yourself in here. You ground yourself, ground your energies. Um, and I'm also here to be mindful of what's around you or who is around you. Oh, and then we have the angel of love and the angel of balance. So you need to balance yourself out or balance out your relationships. But first, I feel like you need to really work on self-love. Um, I'm working on the relationship that you're in with someone else to really find like a happy medium over here and happy medium all right let's see what comes out in our tarot cards look at that the ten of swords here with the wheel of fortune yeah again i feel like there's an ending to some type of negativity some type of argument some type of i'm hearing bad energy bad blood for some of you guys this could be family this could be friends i'm hearing like family feud Okay. Let's see. God, what other messages do you have for Gemini's? How many do we have? Oh, three. Let's do one more. Thank you. Alright, so. We have the King of Swords. Yeah, some of you guys are really cutting off um, that type of energy whoever this person was and really stepping in your power here with this king of swords it says cold abrasive demands respect yeah some of you guys are definitely demanding respect and that's why you're kind of walking away i'm hearing from this situation or from this person that wasn't being very respectful look at this the five of wands again conflict arguments battles around you yeah so some of you guys really needing to walk away from that negative energy mm-hmm and then we have the two of wands here. Short journey, movement near water. Um, that could be relevant for some of you guys. But what I'm really feeling is like you're looking out um, into calmer waters. You're looking for something better, something different than what it is that you've been dealing with. Some of you guys are really taking a step back to really reevaluate the situation, I feel like, as well. Mm -hmm. The seven of cups. So I feel like with this, you might have a lot of options on how to move forward. And that's why you have that indecisive energy. It says at the bottom, all that glitters is not gold. Look behind, beyond the clouds and money improvements. So yeah, with that door to value coming out first too, I feel like that's really going to be true for a lot of you guys. And we see a five, a two, and a seven. So we're getting seven, seven, two sevens, or just seven in general. could be very significant. Um, lucky number seven I'm getting as well. But yeah, I feel like with this, there's a lot of options that you do have to move forward. But what you really need to focus on is love, balance. Um, and not so much on the situation, but you can reflect on it as far as what it is that you can have you could have done differently um, before you move forward. But I definitely feel like you're moving into calmer waters and more steady pace. 
less of the arguments, less of that energy, because I feel like you're going to cut that off or needing to cut that type of energy or people around you off so they don't mess with your energy and throw you off balance as well. All right, that has been your reading. Thank you.